On behalf of the founding partners of Connections Housing, the founding partners are Affirmed Housing Group, PATH Ventures, PATH and Family Health Centers of San Diego, I want to welcome you all to today's grand opening. Just the sheer numbers of people here this morning represent this community-wide support that helped make this happen. This is not a one person or one agency um, initiative here. This is a whole region of San Diego that put this together. The real deal here today is the clients and the tenants who will be living in this building and having a chance to get a new start. Uh, there's no way to really uh, get yourself back into productive society unless you have a place to stay. That's the baseline and that's what, we're, uh, that's what this building is really all about. Myron here is a veteran and he lived on our streets right here for 11 years. And recently Myron moved into his new home right here and found a permanent home here at Connections Housing. He is working with Family Health Centers of San Diego as well as other service agencies in this building. We have 35 agencies in this building and he's determined to find a job. Myron told me that being a resident at Connections Housing allows him to feel like he's now a contributing member of this community. So thank you, Myron, for giving us all hope. Working with the council and uh, the council president and all the partners here, we are going to make sure that we meet the challenge, the, maybe the first city in America, that we solve the problem of homelessness in a major city. Thank you all of you who are making this uh, possible. You know, I was just talking to a few of the residents here, and on their behalf, I thank all of you for what you have done to make this happen. Thank you. We can be a model. We can be a model for reducing homelessness, not just in downtown, but in every community in this city, uh, in the county, and in our state. And I am so thrilled to be here today to celebrate with all of you. Thank you, each and every one, for being here. Thank you for the role that you played. We are dedicating a new life to an old building that poetically is going to give new lives to thousands of San Diegans. That is why I'm so proud to be with all of you. This is a game changer in the way we handle homelessness in this community. For too long, we've decided that two tents in the wintertime was enough, that caring for 16 weeks out of the year was sufficient. I personally believe that San Diegans care about our homeless population 52 weeks a year, and that is what this building says. We knew that if we could make it happen, if we could get this building open, if we could bring help to those individuals that need help, it was going to be something that all of us ultimately would be very, very proud of. Because homelessness combined with these services is clearly the best approach to help break the cycle of homelessness. We're so very, very proud of the city of San Diego and all of the partners in this project to make this day happen. It's a beautiful day in San Diego weather-wise, but it's even a more beautiful day when you consider this tremendous project that is coming to fruition today. Connections Housing is a stellar example of collaboration, and I can say that I know that we're looking forward to doing more. Three years ago, we embarked on our mission, and today we celebrate the grand opening of Connections Housing. After what seemed like countless community group meetings attended by Joel Roberts, Jeanette Shea, and myself, we gained consensus that this location and our concept met with the approval of most of the business leaders and ultimately a unanimous vote at the City Council. A development such as this with over 120,000 square feet of floor space, an adaptive reuse of an historic building which was originally completed in 1928, has more than its share of challenges. Let me share some with you. Do you have an hour or two or three? <laughs> but seriously, the complexities of just the financing with more than six sources of financing alone is enough to keep one up at night. However, when one also considers the hidden gems, and I use that term loosely, contained within a structure that is 85 years old, well, you can understand that this is a challenge worthy of any development team. Uh, United Healthcare contributed $15.1 million to the project, uh, nearly half of the entire funding for the project uh, to make this a permanent facility. Uh, in partnership with the Enterprise Community Investment, uh, and we have several of them here with us today, uh, 
this was made possible through the uh, Low Income Housing Tax Credit Program, uh, a really innovative way of, uh, of uh, a, a great model for pr bringing both public and private venture together uh, to fund projects such as this one. This project couldn't have been done without um, city support and in the form of redevelopment funds and, uh, and the Housing Commission's support and resources, uh, the delivery of, of rental assistance to the residents who will be living here. Um, but also, uh, just uh, again, in the community coming together and, and delivering a project like this, it's really remarkable. And we look forward to doing much more business uh, with San Diego and the surrounding areas uh, in the years to come. Over the coming months and years, this innovative facility will have the potential to change the lives of thousands of San Diegans. Civic San Diego is proud to have led this innovative project from concept to reality. When we issued the request for proposals in collaboration with our close partners, the San Diego Housing Commission, we put forth the grand vision of a one-stop homeless housing and services center. We weren't certain we'd receive any responses, but luckily we did and the results of everyone's hard work are evident today. I'll point out to you that the Housing Commission will continue being active and supportive with this uh, endeavor. We have set aside some 89 of our federal housing vouchers supplied by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for this property. They reflect almost a million dollars of operating support subsidy per year, which will be committed to this project. We also have awarded another 50 Housing Choice vouchers to PATH, which will be used to help the men and women here find housing in a community to transition out of here. By providing quality health care in partnership with housing and support services, we can offer the resources necessary to break the cycle of homelessness. When health is restored, confidence, self-esteem, and a new path forward are sure to follow. Today with the opening of connections we celebrate that as a community we are one step closer to our goal of ending homelessness in downtown San Diego that today 223 people will end their homelessness and start on a new path for healthy, healthier lives the partnership believes that connections housing will bring much needed relief to our community as we work to end homelessness in downtown it's part of a larger strategy when you think about the PATH name, uh, people assisting the homeless, again, there's just, uh, that's just such an important work at a very grassroots level. And it's an amazingly important work when you can consider where we want our communities to be and where we want them to go in the future. And so uh, on behalf of um, U.S. Bank and all of my colleagues here today, it is my extreme pleasure to, uh, Joel Roberts, could you please come to the stage? Uh, we'd like to present PATH with a check for $25,000 so they can continue their great work in Southern California. Thank you very much.